Hi, I'm Dr. Ian Dunbar, and um, this actually isn't a question from the Dunbar Academy mailbag. It's um, uh, my question from a question that was asked. Um, how do we train deaf dogs? This comes up periodically. Um, for those of you who don't have deaf dogs, I'm sure a lot of you have dogs that don't pay attention and don't listen to you. So same applies. Um, well, at home, it, it's, it's pretty simple. The dogs get used to um, paying attention to you, especially if you move around the house a lot, like I do. I mean, my dog follows me everywhere because she sees me get up. She hears the vibration of me moving the chair. She alerts. She follows me up to the bathroom, downstairs to get a cup of coffee, uh, down to my office to get some notes, out to the garden to have a break. Um, in the active training part, though, um, to me, it doesn't matter, you know, whether the dog is deaf or not, because I like to train the dog to regularly check in on me. And the best way to do this is using our various following exercises. Um, uh, Off-leash following in a big open space. Um, and, a, and a fairly safe area, big dog park, you know, with trees and rocks in it and such. And you go there with a very young dog. This is really important. It works best with a puppy. And you just start walking away from your dog. And whatever the dog does, you do the opposite. So if the dog lags, you speed up even run. And if the dog doesn't catch up, you hide. And this is really important because if a young dog, he's in a park and, you know, he was confident because you were there, now you're gone. There's going to be a short moment of panic, but it's pretty much one trial learning. From then on, they will not take their eyes off you. They will keep checking in on you. And this is what is essential. Um, Jamie and I did this with Phoenix once. Um, we were walking on a trail and we hid from her. And she was cool. She starts walking back to the car. So we go, Feeny. So then she comes walking back, then walking back to the car again. And then she panics. And she panics for a minute, looking for us high and low. A weird climbed up a tree. When she finds us, man, she's all wriggly in it. From that day on, when we were walking, she would keep checking in on us. She always had an ear back on us. If she went round a corner, she would stop before going round and look at us. So this is what you want if a dog can't hear or if a dog is highly uh, distractible and gets, you know, gets his nose down and then like you don't exist. So the following exercises are fantastic and you can do them at home. Um, and following and hide and seek. You know, and it's a great way now to get the dog to regularly check in on you. Um, once you've done that, what you'll find is walking the dog on leash is going to be a lot easier because the dog's got used to following you, checking in on you and following you. If you're going to let the dog off leash, though, I would highly recommend some kind of vibration collar. And then the training isn't much different from a dog that can hear. So I like to teach the dogs one command, sit. And this is the command I put all my time and energy in. This is the emergency command that I teach so that no matter what's going on, where the dog is, you know, the dog will sit. And periodically when the dog is off leash, uh, walking or in a park, I will say, Zuzu, sit. And I wanted to sit and look at me. We well, have to tra train your deaf dog the same, but of course, at a distance, the dog can't feel vibrations. And so you want a little vibration collar. Bzz, that means sit and look at me. And so this is kind of the principle of gun dog training. They let gun dogs do their things, you know, or sheep dog training. Um, gun dog does his thing until the hunter goes, and that means sit. With sheepdogs, it means down and check in on me for um, a hand signal. So that's basically how I would do it. Most of the training can be done um, off leash at home. And it's no different whether your dog can hear or not, because we want to train the dog to look at us at a variable interval. I want the dog, you know, when they come back from these like following exercises in say a dog park for the first time, you know, and the dog slows down, so you speed up and run away from the dog and hide. And then the dog has a little panic, then he finds you. And this is one trial learning, it really is. I want the dog to come back, and he goes out in the garden, and through the garden fence he has a conversation with, say, an Akita next door, and he says, wow, my owner 
is so dumb. Really difficult to train. We're at the park the other day. I took my eyes off them for a second and they got lost. Can you believe it? In a dog park, they got lost. Wow. I, I just keep checking in on them every minute now. It's actually easier than it sounds. So best of luck with your deaf dogs out there. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com and check out our selection of free dog training and behavior courses. If you'd rather watch some more videos here on YouTube, click right over here or here. And if you want to watch our new videos as we post them, click here to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell.